Hello classmates and future CPAs, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss double taxation. Ano nga ba ang double taxation? At, and ano-ano yung mga uh, klase ng double taxation. Okay? Ang double taxation is when income or profits are taxed twice. Yung income or profits natin are tina ay tinaksan ng doble. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng double taxation. Okay? There are two kinds of double taxation. Number one is direct double taxation. The two taxes o yung dalawang taxes na inimpose sa'yo ay dapat same taxing authority, same purpose, same uh, jurisdictions, same taxing period, and must be the same kind or character. Okay? Ang direct double taxation ay bawal at illegal dito sa Pilipinas. Pero no prohibit ng uh, Philippine government ang uh, direct double taxation kasi it uh, violates uh, the constitution, di ba? Na hindi tayong pwede taxan ng uh, doble. Kasi human rights natin yan, di ba? Hindi, uh, hindi tayo pwedeng taksan ng doble. Okay? Para masabi siyang uh, direct double taxation, dapat same taxing authority, same purpose, same jurisdiction, same taxing period, and same kind or character. Okay? Para masabi siya na direct double taxation. If absent yung isa, the the government or the BIR can argue that uh, this is not a direct double taxation. Okay? Kung magkaibang purpose, hindi yan double taxation. Kung magkaibang taxing authority, hindi yan double taxation. Kung magkaibang uh, jurisdiction, hindi yan double taxation. And the BIR can argue to that effect. Di ba? The other kind of double taxation is indirect double taxation. There is a burden of two or more imposition but imposed by different taxing authorities or different purpose. Okay? This is not legally objectionable. Ang indirect double taxation is hindi bawal sa Pilipinas. Okay? Kasi yung burden ng imposition niya, although double but different taxing authorities or it may have different purpose or other reasons. Okay? Hindi po yan pinagbabawal ng batas. Yung indirect double taxation. Let's have an illustrative case. After paying its local business tax liability to a certain government, a cable television operator was billed by the said city for an adjustment. Dutifully, the cable operator paid the amount. Upon inquiry to the nature of the adjustment, so yung cable operator is uh, nagtanong na siya kung ano yung nature ng adjustment, the taxpayer learned that it represents local franchise tax. Okay? Perhaps, baffled by the imposition of both business tax and franchise tax, yung cable operator nagalit. Okay? The cable operator wrote a letter of protest to the office of the city treasurer. Nag uh, sulat siya ng letter of protest sa city treasurer. Ni-request niya yung cancellation of the said adjustments and its corresponding refund. Gusto niyang ma-refund dan kasi tinak siya ng dalawa. Local franchise tax pati yung isang tax liability, which is a local business tax. Okay? Sinabi ni cable operator, bakit tinaksan ako ng doble na uh, dapat same lang naman yung babayaran ko, which is isa lang. ba? Diba? So, yung double taxation is generally frowned okay, upon in the Philippines by the state and taxpayer. Same is not entirely illegal. Okay? If under a particular circumstances. 
Okay, double taxation is violative of any constitutional limitations of the power to tax. Okay? Pag tinaksan ka ng dalawa and na-prove mo yun na illegal yun or direct double taxation yun, it violates constitutional limitation of the power to tax. Since yung tax ay uh, inimpose ng doble, okay, on the same gross receipts by the same taxing authority, yung cable operator in niya that the imposition of both business tax and franchise tax amounted to unjust and improper double taxation. Yun yung uh, kanyang basis, no? Bakit siya nagre-reklamo? Kasi unjust daw and improper double taxation or simply direct double taxation daw yun. Okay? The cable operator also contended no, that since uh, isa siyang legislative franchise, the obligation lang ni cable operator should be the franchise tax. No? Dapat hindi na daw siya magbayad ng local business tax. Okay? Sa yung na-deny na siya ng protest, and claim for refund yung treasury officer or city treasurer ginastify niya na yung business tax and franchise tax are separate and distinct taxes okay there are different they are of a different nature daw and imposed under a different provisions of the city local government code okay or local government code of the philippines okay Ano ba yung pinaka uh, yung ruling ng Supreme Court or ano ba yung pinaka tamang sagot dito? Okay? Nung inapil na nila sa Supreme Court yung case na to ay na deny yung kanilang protest. Okay? Kasi yung cable operator uh, nag-assume siya na nag naka-incur siya ng direct double taxation when in fact, hindi siya naka-incur ng direct double taxation. Okay, sabi ni Supreme Court, yung uh, dalawang tax na inimpose kay cable operator is of different nature. Okay, yung isa is for franchise uh, purpose. Okay, and yung isa naman is a local business tax. Okay, magkaiba sila. Hindi sila pareho. Okay? Although they are both local taxes, but the nature in itself, yung isa is business tax for business. This is a tax on business. Okay? While the franchise tax is the tax on the privilege to have that franchise in the locality. So, magkaiba talaga sila ng kanilang nature. Okay? So, yung answer dito is uh, the imposition is an example of indirect double taxation. Okay? Now, let's go to the sources of tax laws. Maraming sources ng tax laws sa uh, Pilipinas. Okay? Meron tayong constitution, yun yung number one. Meron tayong mga tax treaties and conventions with foreign countries. Example, may exempt yung ating mga OFWs. Uh, in return, yung mga foreigners dito sa Pilipinas are also exempted with certain taxes. Okay? Yun yung mga treaties. Ito yung mga kasunduan ng bansa when it comes to taxes. Okay? Another one is the tax code. Okay? Ito na yung RA 8424, which is the original uh, National Internal Revenue Code and other tax code, like yung mga local government code. This, uh, those are examples of tax code. Okay? Presidential decrees. Uh, yung mga executive orders natin 
na pinirmahan ng presidente is called uh, presidential decrees. Uh, may mga tax laws tayo sa related dito. Okay? Another one is executive orders. Sa so, executive orders, uh, ito yung mga uh, an example of presidential decrees. Ito yung mga uh, dinideclare ng executive government to have uh, that uh, law related to taxes. Okay? Court decision or yung Supreme Court. Uh, we honor no, yung mga Supreme Court decisions kasi ito yung basis natin sa mga disputed or yung mga gray areas when it comes to tax laws. Okay? Another one is statutes or laws. These are uh, the create law, the train law, and other uh, laws na ini, uh, that was enacted no? to uh, revise the National Internal Revenue Code. Okay? Para magkaroon ng mga uh, revisions, magkakaroon tayo ng statutes. Uh, laws which are uh, in addition or yung may mga revision i-state natin dito which is this is the responsibility of the legislative department naman, di ba? Another one is revenue regulations. These are regulations issued by the Bureau of Internal Revenue to uh, simplify or to clarify certain statutes or laws okay as well as the BIR rulings example revenue memorandum circulars revenue memorandum orders and for the bureau of customs is customs memorandum orders okay meron din tayong mga local tax ordinances like yung example kanin a local franchise tax which is embedded na yun sa local government code which is imposed by the local uh, authorities. 